Okay, so today we're going to look at incorporating Adobe Illustrator files with our Photoshop files. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. One way will just be to place it in as pixels so we can use all the pixel editing power of Photoshop. The other way would be to keep it as a vector so we can scale it and move it around. But well, the beauty of doing that as well, we can still edit it in Illustrator and change the colors and bring it back in. Okay, so I'm going to start with the easy one. I'm just going to start with placing in an Illustrator file. Okay, so I'm going to go to File and I'm going to come down to Open and choose my Illustrator file that I want there. Open it up and basically it's going to what's called rasterize it. It's going to turn it into pixels. So I can choose the resolution, I can choose the size there. It's plenty big enough for that one as long as it's a high resolution and I click OK. Alright, so I'm going to bring it in and it's a normal layer, a normal Photoshop pixel based layer. Okay, so if I grab my razor, look, I can start to rub it out and change bits to it as you would normally. Okay, but if I want to keep this as a vector, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to come over to a, open up a blank document. So I've just got an A4 document here that I'm going to place the document into. And this time, I'm going to come down to File, and I'm going to go to Place Embedded. Okay, there's two options here, actually. We've got Place Embedded and Place Linked. And I would always recommend to do the Place Embedded, because um, if we do Place Linked, we need to keep the Illustrator file with the Photoshop file. Okay, but I'm going to show you in a minute, we can Place Embedded and still edit this file in Illustrator with it being embedded into the Photoshop layer. Okay, so Place Embedded choose my uh, puppet warp again my little guy that I'm going to place in and then click OK right so now he's in click yes just to confirm that now it doesn't look much different to the other file at the moment but the main thing being you can see there's a little icon in the corner of the layer and that means it's a smart object so that means it's kept all that vector information so I can't edit the vector in this document but if I double click on the layer here what it'll do, it goes into Photoshop for me. Okay, let me just come back and change this back here. And I can then change this in Illustrator. So come in and change some of the content here like this, look. I already did this earlier, so I had a bit of a practice with it just to make sure it's gonna work for me in this video. You can see, change the coat to a different color completely. Okay, and then when I go to File and Save, and then click Yes, come back to Photoshop and it just updates there. Okay, so it's still, although it's embedded, we can still edit that little embedded part of the layer within Illustrator. Now, we can do things in Photoshop to this layer. We can add in different effects. I can add on a drop shadow. I can add on a, uh, I know, a stroke around the edge. Okay, so we can add things to the layer. We could put layer masks on, if you've seen any of my previous videos regarding those. So we can attach things to this layer, but we can't edit the actual layer because it's still a vector. Okay, so if I grab my eraser and try and do something, it comes up with an error look. It's not going to let me do that. If I do click, it says this object must be rasterized before proceeding. So essentially, what it's going to do is turn it all back into pixels so you can edit it with all the pixel things in Photoshop. So it really depends what you're doing with the illustration. If it's all finished in Photoshop, in, uh, sorry, in Illustrator and you just want to place it in, if you want to start editing it properly with all the brushes and things in Photoshop, we're going to just kind of open it. Okay, so we go to File and Open to turn it to pixels, or we place embedded. But at any time, again, we can just rasterize it. And when I do that, look, the little icon disappears. So now this, again, is just pixels there. So we can work with it either way, depending on your work.